That is First Lady Michelle Obama at last night's state dinner. Stunning in a Versace gown. Her style over the last eight years, taking center stage and shifting the way American women think about fashion, really women all around the world. ABC's Paula Ferris has a closer look. The 14th and final state dinner for the Prime Minister of Italy. It's Michelle Obama's last as First Lady, and she made it one to remember in fashion history. Stunning in a shimmering rose gold chain mail gown by Versace. President Obama saying as they arrived, all they're looking at is you. Fashion critic Robin Givon, who has written about the First Lady's style for years, heralded the look for its pure Hollywood glamour. The Versace dress stands out because it's a very sexy, slinky dress. It's by an Italian designer and keeping with her tradition of, in some way, uh, acknowledging the country that they're hosting. Since the Obama's very first state dinner in 2009 for the Prime Minister of India, the First Lady has showcased show-stopping gowns, many by American designers. Welcoming Canada's Prime Minister earlier this year in a strapless Jason Wu and this 2010 dazzling dress designed by Peter Sorenin for a dinner in honor of the Mexican president. The First Lady going further afield for fashion inspiration. This showstopper from Alexander McQueen for a dinner for the president of China. And this memorable Marquesa went hosting the British Prime Minister in 2012. And the First Lady's fashion legacy goes far beyond formal occasions. She's embraced bold colors and knee-length frocks, mixing and matching pricey pieces with off-the-rack items from brands like J. Crew. She's been extraordinarily savvy about her use of fashion, both to connect with people, whether it's another working mother or whether it's a dignitary. The First Lady's sense of style, flawless. For Good Morning America, Paula Ferris, ABC News, New York. And joining us now is fashion journalist Kate Betts. She is the author of Everyday Icon, Michelle Obama and the Power of Style. Good to have you with you. Thank you for having yourself. me. Thank you. So Good what you. did last night's look represent? You know, glamour, mm. glamour, 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 and also authority and confidence, which I just love about her. I mean, I think, you know, it's also a big fashion statement. You can't get more fashionable than Versace chainmail <laughs> in rose gold. But it's really a statement of glamour and authority. As we're surrounded by all of her gowns here from state dinners, what, what goes into selecting the gowns and dresses? You know, I think traditionally, and also she has also done this a lot, is to select a designer from the country that they're hosting. And obviously last night she selected Versace um, for the Italians. But I think what's interesting also is she always makes some kind of statement beyond that. And if you notice, Versace is a female designer, Donatella. So I thought that was very interesting that she chose her. And I think she also always chooses something bold. I mean, she's dressing to stand out. She is not dressing to fit into any Washington idea of how she should look. And how has she differed in that regard with other first ladies and how they have styled themselves? Well, I think years? she has really used style and fashion to express herself and her authority and her confidence. But I also think what's so interesting about her is she's chosen so many different designers, young designers, Jason Wu, um, Isabel Toledo, Sophie Taylor. Most um, previous First Ladies chose one designer and just used that designer consistently, whereas Michelle, I think, really supported the fashion industry. Yeah, and she has supported a lot of issues. We don't, you know, let's move in other campaigns. Yes. But there is something about the First Lady in fashion that comes to the forefront as well. Yes. Yeah. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We Thank appreciate you. it. Good to Thank see you. you.